why you bring up Lake Placid and unfortunately, or fortunately, that is what you and Randy are uh, best known for. So I was right. wondering if you could take us back to that time in your career. What was, what did you know about Randy's injury? We watched you at Nationals a month earlier. It seemed like everything was fine. Now we right. know that he got injured leading up to uh, the games. So that right. morning of the short program, usually there's a practice session. Did you guys practice? I know Randy, he got a shot to alleviate and quell the pain before you went to the arena for, for the event. So did you know what was going on? Were you in the loop? And how did that day play out? Um, it's, it's, oh, it's a tough one. Yeah. It's all kind of blurry. It's, and it, it it's, once again, it, it, it's our story. So, and, and I will write about this because with, um, when Randy and I wrote our first book, Forever Two is One, he said some things in that book, which I had no idea he was feeling or what was going on. And then what Mr. Nix was saying, it's, you know, it's very interesting. I learned a lot by reading our book, but like you said, nationals was fine. We went home and started training for, for the Olympics and that's where Randy in Santa Monica, um, the initial injury happened. And, you know, it was fine. It was just, you know, he was hurt. It was fine. I'll skate through it. He'll skate through it. And no big deal. And then once we got to Lake Placid, I, you know, I, I guess he was in pain. I'm not quite sure how bad it was, Jenny, but, you know, according to Mr. Nix, he... He wanted to keep everything really quiet because there was so much press going into those games for us. And he didn't want to upset me or make me nervous because, you know, it was already tense enough. So he, he chose to keep it quiet. And what you saw on, um, on the telecast in ABC, really what you saw is, you know, was the first time for me. I knew Randy was injured. I, I knew he got th the shot. I didn't know exactly what the shot was. Didn't know what they were injecting into his leg, which um, ended up deadening the pain where it was hurt, his abductor muscle or groin muscle. Um, but I guess the doctor gave him too much xylocaine, so it ended up deadening his whole leg. And when you watch the footage, you see that leg buckle underneath him. So he, could, he felt nothing. Randy is a skater who never falls. This was a simple double flip that he's done since he was a child. Never missed. If, if anyone were to, you know, miss anything, it was, it was usually me who missed something. And so I, I'm sort of, you know, we're doing the double flips and he, he's falling. And it's like, oh my, what, what's wrong? I thought, well, maybe he's nervous. Maybe he's nervous. Um, not knowing he couldn't feel his leg. So it was, it was a lot of confusion, a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. How had you been skating before? Were the program run-throughs going well in Lake Placid before Lake Placid? How were you personally feeling going into the Olympics? I was fine. It, you know, we were, we were doing just sections of the number. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we had uh, the first section, the middle slow section, and the end kind of another fast section. So we would just mm -hmm. do it in parts. Um, and that's how we would do, we, you, we would run the programs before we got there. Mm -hmm. um, so everything was, was normal to me. Mm -hmm. Were you confident? Or? Absolutely. Yes, we were mm -hmm. confident. N um, nervous, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Press, up the wazoo. Um, press is a little tricky, for, was a little tricky for me because... And I talk about this in the Ty and Randy book. They, they almost, and it was a lot, they have you winning before you even get there. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a mistake. It's kind of hard to say no to a lot of the big press. Um, but it's, it's, I think they overstep their boundaries and they don't understand as an athlete, you really just want to go there and skate your best. And what happens is going to, you know, whatever happens is going to happen. But you want to just go and 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 show your best show your best number. Um, yeah, obviously, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, obviously there was a lot of buildup, you know, and because it was the Americans versus the Russians, uh, we were really wondering how you felt. You stacked up in the competition. Did you feel that you had a good chance to win politically? Was it possible um, for I, you to win? No, I think we did because we were we were at home. Mm -hmm. We were in the U.S., so that was a plus for us. 
and we had the we had those fans behind us and 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 you know and we were in great shape mm-hmm. as we as i thought you know mm-hmm. not knowing about the injury um so i think that was a being in, in lake placid was a plus for us and and if we would have skated well this is a big if who knows um you know i can't answer it i don't know if we would have won honestly i don't know if we if we would have skated our hearts out i don't know if with the judging system the way it was then it was very political and Irina Rodnina had that you know she had won two olympics before that that's a, that's very impressive were they going to break her record you guys i don't know and that's that's the big question mark it just did you think about it no no mm-hmm. i didn't i really didn't i sort of it, it you know when it happened it's everything was really blurry and confusion and now looking back back now i don't even think i asked randy how he felt if it hurt if he was in pain you know all of those things now i would ask and i'm sure he would do the same with me so ty have you and randy had an opportunity to sit down you said a lot was revealed to you when you read his excerpt from the book, the, the part right. that he had contributed. So have right. you guys sat down and kind of hashed this out? Because I can imagine that being so young, having so much pressure on you, feeling that confusion of that night, I just, my heart goes out to you. And I would think then that may affect other parts of your life moving forward. So do you feel that you and Randy have had the opportunity to really talk about what happened? Good question. And no, we haven't. One on, you know, it, we, we did a ton of interviews after, mm-hmm. um, ton of talk shows, print interviews, everything. And there was always that third person, that interviewer, interviewing us. And I don't mean to interrupt, but it's like you have to be on. It's that feeling yeah. that you're, and you we can't be authentic. Program. We had our programmed answers. We knew exactly what to say. We knew exactly what questions were going to be asked, and we were done. But to sit one on one with with Randy. To this day, we haven't. Just in a room by ourselves, we haven't. Like I said in the book, in the first book, um, he revealed so many things that I had no idea was, was happening and how he was feeling. And, but back then, I didn't have the tools to say, are you it's okay? It's four o'clock. I just, I just didn't. So, mm-hmm. you know, it may happen. It, it may not happen. I'm sort of waiting for him to come to me. When he's ready, he will. I think he will. Mm-hmm. Does it give you maybe pause or maybe trust issues at other big moments in your life? You know, you're getting married. Are you waiting for the shoe to drop? Is it something like that where you see it affect you in other ways? Or uh, what? What affect me in other ways? The Just, you know, like the Olympics is your big moment, and something goes wrong. Like, do you? I guess you know, people are very. You know, when you're an athlete, you're very intense so do you ever you know right. get worried before big events or anything now or is it something that was just once and I guess it's that it lack happened? of control I would think yeah. Dave, that you're getting at that feeling right. of um just when I look back on some of my skating experiences that feeling that right. th- there's so much that's out of your control and when you feel like there's this is the moment of your life and you're best known for something not really going the way you want I, I guess are you trying to get at how is it affected yeah. in other ways yes